New research from Jofflin Diabetes Center has identified a type of bacteria found in the microbiomes of elite athletes that contributes to improved capacity for exercise. The study focused on the microbiomes of Boston Marathon runners. So the goal was to try to identify some unique features of the microbiome seen in elite individuals but not necessarily always seen in the general population. In a collaboration with the lab of Dr. George Church at Harvard University, Dr. Alexander Kostick and his colleagues found that certain bacteria, members of the genus Bionella, turn lactic acid produced by exercise into propionate, a short-chain fatty acid that improves the body's ability to do exercise. Bionella are not found in the guts of sedentary people. After identifying the specific genus of bacteria, they tested the effects in mouse models. And what we saw really surprised us, a very significant increase in runtime until exhaustion in the mice that were given Vianella. That was about a 13% increase, which at the face of it may not seem like much, but I think any marathon runner or, or other athlete will tell you 13% uh, is a lot. Improved exercise capacity has implications beyond performance of elite athletes. It's known that exercise capacity is, is correlated with a lower incidence of cardiovascular disease, of diabetes, of longer longevity. If we can tailor their microbiome in some way uh, to facilitate their ability to exercise effectively, we can make a real impact in preventing their, their diabetes. If follow-up studies prove fruitful, therapies could include treatments as simple as an oral probiotic. This study was one of the first to show a truly symbiotic relationship between the microbiome and human physiology. The microbiome is an entity that uh, has been a part of animals for hundreds of millions of years. The more we start to appreciate everything the microbiome does, the more we appreciate that pathogens are an exception to the rule, and the rule is that the microbes in and on us help uh, sustain our health.